Hi, this is a tutorial on building a lesson in Moodle. I'm going to concentrate on more the contents of the lesson rather than the, the setting the format up. So first we'll start with an idea. So I imagine I'm going to do a lesson on how to clean the house. And this lesson is going to have three areas of it. So I broke it up into cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the bathroom, and cleaning the living room. So before you uh, build your lesson, you need to think a little bit in your mind about how the thing is going to work. And so I plan to have three areas here. And it doesn't matter to me which one the student does. They don't, they don't have to do them in order. They can do the kitchen first or the bathroom first, either one. Um, and once they get into it, what I've got here is the idea is that um, first there would be two lessons in kitchen. So once they, if they chose to do the kitchen, they would run through kitchen one and through kitchen two. And then, then clean the bathroom, there would be three separate lessons, which I want them to do in order. And then one lesson for cleaning the living room. So the way I imagine this, oops, I'm a little ahead, is that the students then would start in my lesson with kind of an introduction, and then they would pick. So if they picked this first, they would be sent down to this lesson, then in this lesson, and then back up here, and then they would be free to move to the next one. Maybe they would do the bathroom sec, so they would second, so they would come down here, run through these three, and then be back up, and then the living room, back there, back up, and then finally they could choose to end the lesson, kind of a summary, and then <laughs> be done. So that's the basic plan in my head for what I want my lesson to look like. Now let's go into Moodle and have a look at how this might go. So uh, you go into your Moodle page and you select lesson. And again, I said I wasn't going to spend a lot of attention on setting this up. Okay, so I just want to get us started. How the house and um, Cleaning be my subtitle here, and then I'll just gonna let everything else just sort of sit just to get us started. So when you first open up your lesson, you'll get these choices, and I think the two most important here are the content page, which is simply a, a page that gives people information, and then navigation bars on it, and then question pages, and you can have all sorts of kind of question pages. These are going to be your basic pages. And they end with a question of some kind, so either a matching question, a multiple choice question, or whatnot. So start with a content page, and let's call this the introduction page. And we might, this is some text that the student will see. So uh, how about start off, welcome, and then this is a lesson about cleaning the house. And I might write this some more. And then this is going to be the initial navigation page. So underneath, you'll see here, these content features are uh, navigation to either other content pages or question pages. If you remember, I had uh, three lessons I wanted them, one of my students to look at. So one was kitchen, and one was the bathroom, and one was the living room. And one was simply a summary and end of the lesson. Now, the jumps are the actual pages that you want the students to go to. But we can't put those in yet because we haven't built them yet. So one of the frustrating features about uh, the lesson is you got to build it as you go through it. And then you're going to have to come back and create uh, those jumps for the students. So if you click Save Page, and if you were to go up here onto preview, or this is preview too, and have a look, you'll see I set up this <coughs> page and I already have my navigations here. And the next thing to do is simply to set up these various navigation sort of issues. They're all going to be in a line, so that, and then create the jumps in there for the students to move. Okay, so we go back to edit, and we're going to go underneath, and we're going to add a question page. So, um, what I'll add first is maybe the first kitchen page, okay? So I'll call this K1, and um, I plan to have a video here. I don't have the videos created, but a video about in the kitchen, 
And then I'll have a question. Okay, question. You know, I, you know, what is, and then you'll see, kind of like in other Moodle things, you have choices to put different answers. The nice thing about this is you can put, um, you know, you can tell them if this is the, going to be the correct answer, you can write in correct and you can you know, give them a little bit of great job. If at the end you can say, put the story, and then you can say, uh, think about this, you know. And in Moodle, you can set up these pages so that students can make multiple tries at the questions, which is, I think, is very helpful. Okay, so I would save this page. Um, I didn't pay too much attention to the jumps yet because I haven't created the jumps. So um, I'll need to pick another page. So I'll pick another page, call this one K2. Okay, and this would be maybe there'd be another video here. It would be about cleaning the toilet. Okay, and then another question. Okay, with some answers. A1, A. Two and so forth. And now I can go back to my K1 and I can create my jumps because I want students to take to after they answer this one to go to K2. And now look, see where they've they've all started to appear here because I started to build them. Okay, so I want them to go to K2 on these questions. And then K2 was going to be my final question on the kitchen. So after they finish K2, I want them to go back up to the introduction that I built. And then I can go back up to my introduction and make sure that this kitchen jumps to K1. And now we can go have a look at it. So hit preview. There's my page. This one should be working. The student must have clicked on kitchen. That's my kitchen page. That's all I put into it. And if they were to answer this question, and then we get, sorry, think about this. So that was the wrong answer. So they get a chance to try it again. And um, actually down in K2 right now. And then we're back in. Okay, so now I, I built all this just to have a look at it. So um, I believe it's this one. Okay, so this is what um, I mocked the whole thing up, and you see each of these has takes you to an actual page that I've created. So there's a bathroom page, and there's a living room page. Okay, and then I've even created an end page, and so when their students are done, they can click the end page and you know, get some sort of final thoughts about his and they push and and they get out of the lesson. Um, let me just show you a little bit here. Let's go to edit and just show make sure your end page, which is at the bottom here. Um, I had the jump created for the end page. I chose the end of lesson jump. Okay, so that's just a little something about how to build a lesson in Moodle.